Hello, Sagittarius. I hope you all are doing wonderful today. My name is Nati. So I will be hopping right into y'all energy stage game. I want you all to take your feet, leave what does not. If anything does resonate with you, give your girl a like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Squat rolls is needed. Also, Sash Gang, thank you, thank you, thank you for all the love, likes, comments. Thank you for the support. Thank y'all for everything that y'all do to help the channel grow. I really appreciate you all here, okay? So, as I was shuffling the deck, y'all seen the card fly out. So, this says avoidance stalemate. So, I feel like some of y'all are avoiding someone here um, to focus on you, to focus on your energy. It's like you are starting to care for yourself now. You are no longer focusing on a stalemate. You are literally avoiding them. Okay. What's the energy for Sagittarius, please, Spirit? Yeah, you are focusing on yourself. Like, self-love, self-care here. Some of you all are doing some sort of self-care regimens. Maybe going to the spa. Maybe getting your hair done or colored. Okay. But I feel like y'all are focusing on a new union here. Y'all have received some sort of messages about a new connection. And that is what you are doing. You are no longer focusing on someone from your past here. Okay. It could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Possible twin flame here. Uh, what is the energy? I feel like this person really broke you. All right. And you had to put yourself back together. You had to put the pieces of yourself back together. Okay. And once you did that, you realized like, hey, I know it's someone out there that would love me for me. I know that, you know, I need to work on my self-care. I need to get my emotions to a common state here. And this is what you are doing. Some of you all, like I said, are coming into some sort of union with someone else. And y'all are leaving this past possible water sign doesn't necessarily have to be they could just have water in their birth chart they could even be a fire sign or air sign okay but you are leaving this person feeling guilty about sabotaging the connection and hurting you here look at this person they are feeling guilty for breaking you and sabotaging you because now you're picking up the pieces putting your life back together putting your emotions back intact and you are focusing on something new here honey Okay, I feel like um, this person was very guarded or closed out at one point from you. Very dark energy here. Okay, but now this person wants some sort of breakthrough. I feel like you are now getting a breakthrough here. Now that you are receiving the messages, you are no longer saying anything to this person. You are ending cycles here. You are cutting out this person that no longer serves you or resonates with you anymore. You are transferring, transferring here emotionally, physically. Um, and you are coming into this beautiful connection. It's something you are creating here with someone new. Okay, y'all are forming a solid foundation. You are getting yourself out of that rocky, rocky emotion or rocky state here. All right, y'all be transforming, honey. Transforming, baby. Receiving the gifts here. Receiving the messages that needs to be received. Leaving this person feeling guilty for breaking your heart. They feel guilty for breaking you down like that emotionally, okay? You are being guided here, okay? Uh, you are currently being guided. Some of you all are moving to another city, state, town, or country. Energy for Sagittarius, please. Ooh, okay. Something here around Thanksgiving. This is when you could have met someone new, or this is when you realize, like, hey, I need to leave this person alone. It's time for me to focus on me. It's time for me to submerge my emotions here. Um, I feel like this new person really, really, um, their feelings really run deep for you, okay? This person over here is really desiring you. I feel like they didn't show you that they cared about you or loved you until it was too late, so you, so you were no longer saying anything or until you emotionally, emotionally checked out here, okay? So you've emotionally checked out and they regret for, for breaking your heart. They are desiring you, watching you. Build a solid foundation. You don't have to be building it by yourself. I'm sorry. You don't have to be building it with someone. You could just be building a solid foundation by yourself here. Energy for Sagittarius. Yeah, but this new connection is going to have so much balance here. Because I feel like at one point you needed that balance or something like this. But now you're going to have some sort of balance in your life. There's about to be some sort of growth. Because you are following the signs of synchronicities and you've gotten yourself to a calmer water. Some of you all are seeing some sort of angel numbers. 
of a lot of ones here I'm seeing. Yeah, but y'all are just relaxing right now, clearing your mind, growing here. Some of you all could be thinking about growing like some herb. I don't know. I don't know, Sad. This is the second day, third day back, and I always get y'all be thinking about growing some herb if y'all ain't smoking it. Now, that doesn't resonate with everybody. That's only for somebody. Okay, but this connection here is meant to be. This relationship is magical. It's meant to be. Okay, I feel like you got the person from the past here who could have, um, this person could have have similar traits, like this person could have good traits about themselves that your new person might have, but your new person is better. Okay, this person could be, um, a little, like, feeling like competition now because they are desiring you and you are moving forward here, okay? They were very stubborn with you at one point, but now... They, they could even want to be very competitive with your new love, but they cannot compete where they don't compare, all right? You could be doing something in a new line of study. I'm telling you, look, there's some sort of altercation where this person is just very competitive with your new love here. They could even want to start a fight with your new love because they see you as a muse, all right? You are inspirational to them, and they are stuck in the past. You know that this is the wrong way to go with this person. This person is just having sexual fantasies. But see, some of y'all could be doing research or occult things or get it in a new line of study here. Uh, something that's upgrading your life where you are able to reflect on this past person. Like, I cannot believe I was even with my emotions like that, Sad. Y'all looking in the mirror like, do this person know who the hell I am? Okay, because you, you sexy. You better... You back and better than ever emotionally. This was just some sort of phase you was going through. But it's cuffing season now, baby. It's cuffing season now, baby. All right. Energy for Sagittarius, please. Sagittarius energy. One more shuffle for Sag. So, yeah, this person regrets. Uh, they're feeling guilty for breaking your heart. Wanting to compete with your new love now. Um, if they don't go sit down, they see you as a muse. This person could even be so mad at you, or they could have wished death on you in the past here, or they could have did some sort of sex magic on you, or something like this in the past. It's a it's a water sign. Cancer, uh, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Let me put that back. Energy for or oh, they depressed. This Cancer Scorpio or Pisces, okay, they are very depressed. They are getting bad news here. They are very unstable. Uh, energy for Sagittarius, please. Ooh, meanwhile, you becoming awakened. You getting an awakening. Like I said, y'all following the signs of synchronicity. Y'all are listening to spirit when it comes to this new connection. You know with this, with this past person, that would be the wrong way to go. Okay, and I feel like y'all are heeding the, the signs from spirit because this person is very manipulative, very in and out your life. I feel like this person could just want to be with you because they see you as a muse. Okay, because they they see something in you as far as like growth in your life. Okay, this person is a very selfish individual. You coming into new love and I feel like they don't want that for you. It's like they want you to forever hold on to them while they hold on to others or, or something like this. You could have even dated or been with multiple people, but it was just something about this person. Like I said, your new person kind of got some good characteristics from your past person, but your new person is way better. Okay? Your new love is way better. There's going to be growth in this new love. And this water sign, possible Pisces, um, definitely getting a lot of water out here. It could be a fire or air sign, but this person is unhappy watching you move forward, watching the wheel turn in your favor, watching your growth, watching you build some sort of abundance for yourself. Like I said, it's something you could be doing that, that you could be studying or very spiritual here, something that you could be doing spiritual. Um, it's helping you to increase yourself, helping you to increase your your financial stability maybe you could be buying clothes here or doing something for yourself i feel like you are just trying to protect your energy when it comes to this person um definitely this person could drink a lot they could be very petty or it's something with this person that you realize that and you just don't want them no more it's too late they fucked up you got a real boss now okay you got you a real provider 
possible uh, toy Virgo or Capricorn, okay? You just don't want to see this person. I feel like for some of y'all, y'all don't want to put y'all new person in competition. Y'all are just going quiet because y'all know that this person is going to cause you a tower, okay? Um, I feel like y'all, it's something where y'all could have connected back with this person and then y'all had a tower and y'all stopped talking to this person or there was some sort of tower, okay? But you have a real emperor now, okay? You, you, you've you been holding on. Like I said, some of y'all could have dated other people but still was holding on to your past person because you maybe never found anybody that had those good qualities. Like, they could be a good... They could, be a, they could have a good job or they could be good with their hands or it's like a special type of talent that they might have. You just never found anybody like that so you were still holding on to the thought of them or holding on to them but you found someone that is better than them okay and you are taking a leap of faith you're no longer holding back here you're no longer going to let this person set set you back because you found someone that's better than them two more cards for Sagittarius thank you spirit okay yeah it's like that's the truth with that spell work they was doing I feel like that spell work returned on them Okay, it could have they could have paid for spell work. Some of y'all could be on a public platform or very popular or famous or something like that. And this person was a hater here and they could have paid for some sort of spell work. They could have wished they could have wished death on you or they was doing something like sex magic, I'm telling you. And it didn't work out. It could be returning on them where they are feeling like they made a mistake. Okay, they made some sort of trifling mistake and it's turning everything is returning back on them. They could have even told someone, put you in a third party situation. They could have chose a low quality individual or they could have chosen a job here, okay, over you. This could be a doctor, all right? They could have put a, a guard up with you. It was something that they did that they broke your heart, okay? But some of these people just want to travel back just to cause you some sort of discretion or to try to finish what they were doing, okay? I don't know. They want to cause some chaos or death in your life. But you are moving forward from this, okay? Um, this person could even have, like, a death on them or some sort of dark entity on them. Or they got a karmic. It's something about this person. It's something over this person where either they want to come back and finish where they started as far as wishing death on you and for you to lose everything. It's like they in regret now because, yeah, you moving on. You ain't focusing on them. You in a healed energy right now. You are. You found your boss. You found your emperor. You found your, you know, you found your new person here, okay? It's cuffing season. They is sad because you're not focusing on them. But I feel like if you was to let this person come back into your life, they would want to finish off what they started just to make sure that nobody else could get to you or to make sure that you wouldn't be in this nine of pentacles, in this self-loving, self-deserving type of energy, self-care energy. So just be cautious with this past person possible, uh... Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, maybe a Leo or Capricorn, Scorpio or Aries, maybe Virgo. Your new person could be an Aries towards Virgo. Uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, a Libra here, okay? So just take it how it fits, as If anything resonated, give your girl a like, comment, subscribe to the channel. And until next time, Sash Gang, gang, gang.